Okay, so next with our knife skills, we're going to be looking at battening. We're going to make some battens. So I've got a carrot here. I'm just going to top and tail the carrot like so. Using a speed peeler, just get rid of that outside skin. Do you know what? A lot of the times when I'm cooking carrots and lots of vegetables, a lot of the goodness is actually in the skin. And I do tend to sometimes just leave it on, give it a good wash, good scrub, but then leave the skin on. But for this purpose, we we'll take it off. So what we're going to do is flat off the onion first of all. Uh, the onion? The carrot. <laughs> so we're going to flat off the carrot first. And what we're going to do is just make a little flat surface on the edge, just like so. What that does, it helps us create a nice base so that the carrot doesn't move around the chopping board, keeping it safe. Remember what I said before, a sharp knife is a safe knife, but also having a good chopping board, a nice firm surface, and preparing your vegetable properly can all help with safety. So we're going to carry on and flat off the other sides as well. So we make a square, like so. And I'm saving all the offcuts just in case I want to use them to make a stock or a soup at a later stage. So now we have the squared off carrot. So what we're going to do, uh, we're not going to get many batten out of this, but we're going to try and get some uniformity. So what we're going to do is cut it once there and once there. Okay, and then we're going to turn the carrot and we're going to cut it once there once there. And there we have uh, battened carrots. Quite thin battens, but you can make them as thick as you like, uh, depending on what the purpose is. You can use these for crudite, uh, dipping into hummus and lots of other things, uh, and just snacking on. Really nice. Battened carrots. Mm -hmm.